Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking NFL action here. Ravens at Patriots. It's Masters Week, which means we have a nice little promo for you guys. Use the code MASTERS for 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. The Ravens are minus seven. The total is 44. 79% uh, of the money is on Baltimore as of taping. A big public team here. We've got Sean Higgs joining us to talk this one. Sean, uh, you fade in the public or you like the Ravens in this one or do you like a total? Oh, you know, this is one of those games, Charles. You see a touchdown, Belichick's an underdog, but are you really happy with them being an underdog the way they're playing right now? I mean, granted, I see, I mean, seven, it was six and a half, now seven, there might be a seven and a half clicking here because everybody's coming on Baltimore. Everybody knows what they saw last. And on Monday night, this team was losing to the Jets and Joe Flacco. But let's be honest here. Listen, he, here's my little prediction. Cam Newton was talking about what a steal, a million, you know, 1.25 million for Cam Newton, the whole Belichick and Patriots is going to be great. He's going to be out of football next year. And somehow he'll be compared to Kaepernick. He's getting railroad or something. When the simple fact is right now, he is 3-13 and 13 quarterback in teams his last 16 games. It's been terrible. He's just, it's just not good. The Ravens with this guy under center, Lamar, 25 and 5. Big difference. Some teams win, some teams lose. And as the bottom line is, comes, it's always on the quarterback, right? You hear guys are choke artists, he's good or bad. Cam's not playing good. This offense is terrible. And as the season's progressing, you're seeing that everyone who's opted out for COVID that no one really took notice of in, when it was happening, I guess, because the, the win total really didn't move that much, that's coming into play. And granted, you. Don't want to lay seven, seven and a half. Looks bad, but I don't know. I, I think Harbaugh, they don't like this team. I think the Ravens are going to come out and just hammer them into the ground. Always a physical team. Back-to-back -back road games, yes, but um, I don't know. This is the game they want to win. Steelers undefeated. Casey with a loss, a win over this Ravens team. They can't afford to lose a game if they want any kind of playoff, home playoff game. So I'll lay the seven. Let's go. Ravens, get it done here. This is, you know, you got all the years of frustration from teams losing to the Patriots over the last 20 years, beat up on them when they're bad. This is what you do. Put your foot on their neck, make it a dying franchise. That's what you come, that's the enemy. Take care of them. No mercy here. This is football. Yeah. Let me say something about Cam Newton real quick before you just uh, dog on him too bad. He doesn't have much around him. As far as no. weapons go, the cupboard is pretty bare. The Patriots have the most opt outs of any team in the NFL, and I think it shows. So I don't think it's all Cam's fault. But granted, some of the passes that he's trying to make, they're basic passes, and he can't even get it to the receiver. So definitely some huge questions when it comes to the Patriots offense, and that's definitely not a hot take here. The problem I have with the Patriots is they're also going against a really good run defense here. The Ravens are a top 10 run defense. So stopping the run is key when you're facing the Patriots and Cam Newton, obviously a threat to run, not as good of a runner as he used to be, but he's still a good threat to run. Uh, but the Ravens are really good at beating bad teams. They've beaten teams this season with a losing record by an average of 14 points. So if you're talking about laying a big number here, I still like the Ravens at minus seven, minus seven and a half. I don't love it as much, but I still like Ravens uh, to cover a big number here against the Patriots. This Patriots team is struggling, and the Patriots defense, not great either. 25th against the run, which the Ravens like to do. Yeah, their offense is pretty easy to figure out, but you still got to have the players there to make the play. So I think the play here is on the Ravens. Hey, listen, I think New England's got the most turnovers on offense in the league. This They lost last year, I think, 38 to 20. More of the same. You nailed it, what you just said about the offense and defense comparisons. Yeah, I mean, it seems, it seems like the obvious play for me. We'll see because sometimes in these primetime games, we've seen a little chaos. But um, I think if I took the Patriots, I would never forgive myself if they still didn't cover because – it seems like the obvious play for me on the Ravens. Uh, any inklings when it comes to the total? 44 is pretty low, but both these teams do like to run the ball. Probably under simply because if you think that it's like the low-hanging fruit game and the public is wrong and the wise guys are going to be on the Patriots, it's going to be some ugly kind of game where it's 23-16. You know, Lamar and the offense doesn't get going to the second half like this past week against the Colts. So probably lean under here on the total. All right. Well, that's going to do it for our Ravens and Patriots talk here on Picks and Parlays. As always, great stuff from Sean Higgs. Sean, thanks for joining us.